<laughs> so, sorry for the awkward introduction, but it's been a long day, long couple of days. I just made it to my hotel room, obviously, in Columbia, South Carolina. I spent most of yesterday and today just kind of keeping to myself and just doing things to get myself in the zone, like get my mind right. And yeah, I feel awesome. I'm not like nervous at all. I, I mean, I like think about it and I get nervous, but I'm just trying to stay as relaxed as possible. Super calm, but I'm just going to finish my meal number four right now. And I will talk to you guys in a bit once I get things all settled because clearly my bed's not even made and I literally just brought all my stuff up here. So I just want to enter the video and I love you all so much. Thank you for the support and stay tuned. I can't wait to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh, 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 oh. Back my life inside a car Hit the bird and drive real far Alright, I am officially settled in. It is like 6 something and I'm going to give you guys a hotel room tour and just kind of show you my setup of how I lay everything out and have it all nice and organized so that it's not stressful at all and I can just relax now and enjoy myself. When you first walk in, I have a fridge. All my food is in there. I've got my food scale, my peanut butter, and almond butter. And I have a microwave. I'm so excited for that because hotels usually don't have microwaves in your room. And then I've got my cooler already um just, here's my baggie a bunch of random things like honey tea forks almond butter and a million straws because jason took a million of those from starbucks last time but here is my living room it's nice and relaxing i'll probably watch tv out here for a little bit and then come over here to the desk area just have my suit laid out and my show shine and just this is just my show bag I have a bunch of dry stuff in here, like my, let me just show you, my pump. I'm going to get my pump on tomorrow before I go on stage. And then some more cups for peeing. My treat bag, which you guys will be seeing that later. And foil, which you will see why I'm using that for. So, I've got my shoes already. And then, okay, so I just want to show you one trick to competing. Um, something that people don't always think about. I actually didn't think about it until my last show. So, Cover your seat with foil because the spray tan will get on there and it might ruin or stain the seat and you don't want to have to pay for that. In the next bathroom I have everything laid out, all of my makeup, my hair extensions, going to straighten those, and yeah, everything is literally just all ready for me to go. All right, I have my nightstand with my candle going. This is from Bree. She sent it to me this week. She's my awesome client who sent me a goodie box. And then my supplements I'm going to take tonight before bed. And of course, I have my book and my scratch tickets. You guys know, if you guys know me, you know that I do scratch tickets before every single competition. And I actually just turned in one of these. I won $10 last time, so I turned it in today and I got $10 more worth. <laughs> And then here is from check-ins. I am number 143 tomorrow. And they gave us two tank tops this time. This one says competitor on the back side. This is just the silverback. I believe it's a team. Uh, I'm not too familiar with that. And then some protein donuts. Jim's buddy, Jim Buddies. So this is the cake batter and chocolate. And yeah, I'm excited to try these out. Let you guys know what I think. This one has more protein and less carbs. So. We will see. I'll give you a review on that when I can have them. Alright, now that my bed is actually made and I can sit on it, I can sit here and chat for just a moment. So, yesterday was Thursday, and I swear I get, um, what is it called, when moms are about to have their babies, I nesting. I swear I get nesting symptoms before competitions. I literally cleaned so much yesterday. It probably doesn't look like it anymore after having a dog. Um, I raided through the pantries, got rid of so much stuff, cleaned, scrubbed, swept, vacuumed, laundry, everything. Like, it was insane. Um, I just like to keep myself busy and keep my mind going and just make time go way faster. Plus, I'm just so excited for the weekend and, like, okay, I'm ready for it to be here now. So, um, anyways, that's pretty much all I did yesterday alongside with my workout. I just went through, like, a 45-minute light workout, posing, and my cardio. And 
and yeah that's about it so today I did the same thing I did like a 25 minute light workout I did two exercises per muscle group two sets each 12 to 20 reps just kind of like feeling it and getting pumping and whatnot so that and then my cardio and a little bit of posing today as well of course and then I drove here actually before I drove here I got my tan on I did the pro tan the self tanner so I'm excited to do this for the first time last time I used Jana tan Jana tan tan Jana I don't know something like that so this is a different tan than I did two weeks ago three weeks ago oh my gosh it was three weeks ago I think already I don't even know <laughs> anyways um, yeah so I did the tan this is the bikini overnight color and then tomorrow morning I'm going to do the bikini top coat so stay tuned for that this one should progressively get a little bit more tan throughout the night um, and again I will do dark makeup on my face it's just my own makeup so I will take this off my neck is not done um, we're gonna do that tomorrow morning as well and yeah that's about it I'm literally just going to log off here relax and enjoy the moment keep being stress-free I feel so stress-free for the first competition ever like this is the first time I felt just like so like here we go la 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 like just enjoy everything like nothing is gonna distract me and yeah I'm really excited I'm going to try and just wind down drink some more water have two more meals and enjoy my night so thank you guys so much for watching I might jump on here again tonight I don't know for sure otherwise I will see you tomorrow and thank you again I will see you in the next clip good morning it is show day I just got done with my progress photos and sending them to my coach and I have some lovely hotel coffee going and then I'm about to have my meal number one I just put it in this nice fancy aluminum foil and it's literally just two whole eggs I think I can't remember it's in my fitness pal and egg whites it's my egg pancake omelet taco whatever you want to call it at this point but I'm going to top it with some of my peanut butter butter my cup peanut butter my favorite stuff I am going to go and order like all of their nut butters because it's so good and so macro friendly makes me happy but that's what I'm going to do and then I'm just going to go walk on the treadmill for about 10 minutes as a post eating stand efforting type thing that I like to do so that's what's going on right now and I will see you guys in a bit Longhorn Steakhouse and get some good food, so I will show you guys. There's a lot of chicken. Yeah. Alright, I just wanted to come outside. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm right by the road and before I melt or it rains. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on what happened during pre-judging. So there were four classes, A, B, C, and D, and open. And there were 12 amazing looking girls in my class D, which is the tallest class. 
Um, I am like five seven and a half. Face me five eight. Sad story. <laughs> but anyways, I was in open D, which was very very last after everyone went on very last bikini division to go on. So um, went out, did my model walk, and then they had us go back onto the line to be judged and then they had us come up out and then they called out the top call outs and I was top call out and then I got moved to the center three and they had me and the two other girls in the center three pulled off to the side so top three I'm so excited um, just waiting for finals it's almost 4 p.m. and that's when the athlete meeting is and the finals starts show finals whatever you want to call it starts at 5 p.m. so that's what I'm waiting for and it's just like ugh, I hate waiting I've been waiting so long for this but I did have some chicken as you saw before and some of my baked potato so yeah I think I'm gonna have a little bit of candy right now and have some fun I'm feeling pretty tight I'm feeling pretty good so that's what I'm gonna do I kind of have a headache I've had like a dull headache all day I have been drinking water I've been having sodium but I think my sleep was maybe a little off. I slept solid from 10 to 2 and then just kind of woke up a little bit throughout. But anyways, I'm at my hotel. We're going to head over pretty soon. Um, coach is in there taking a little cat nap. And yeah, that's about it right now. So it's just been a great day. It goes by really fast per usual. And I just try and soak it all in. I've been a little more quiet this time just because I'm just really trying to like stay calm and just do things a little differently than before so my the more calm your body is the better it's going to respond to everything in general and this peak week has just been so much better than last everything's just been like at a zen and just like relaxing so anyways that's where we're at right now and i will keep you updated as much as i can and yeah thank you guys all so much for the support so far i gotta touch up my lips and stuff so stay tuned like a hot mess I just got home I literally rushed home for my pup so I made it home and it took like 30 minutes extra because there was an accident and I literally sat in stop traffic for like 20 minutes and then 10 minutes of super slow moving so I added so much extra time and I had to drive through downtown that was my detour downtown on a Saturday night is no bueno so just got home and I placed third, which is amazing. The girls looked amazing. And I immediately talked to the judges right away. I was the very last one to go on stage. Um, so I kind of, I took pictures and gathered up my stuff and went and talked to the judges before they left. And I was like, hey, is it okay if I talk to you guys right now? Just make sure that they didn't prefer it via email or, or whatnot. I, I didn't want to bombard them. So anyways, um, Got awesome feedback. Basically, the number one thing is my tan. Um, it wasn't, I did it myself. So next time I'm gonna use the company for sure. And I actually used a pumice stone on my glute area to try and like smooth out the bumps earlier in the week, which caused a bunch of scratches. So my butt looks absolutely terrible. And that's the number one thing they look for in bikini. So that was the biggest dock, I guess, in my scoring. So. Who knows what would have happened if my tan was spot on, but they said that, they all said that. And then um, a couple of them just said, just bring in your glutes even more, just more conditioning in your glutes, and yeah. So two weeks until, until nationals, two weeks to bring it, two weeks to give it my all even more. So I'm really excited, and I've got a new suit for the next one. I'm not gonna be buffing my butt anymore, so. 
I'm going to use a spray tan company and yeah, I'm just going to do everything that I can and that's all you can do with competing. So I'm going to end this video or this clip here and shower, get out of these clothes. I still have my jewelry and everything on. So if you guys have hung around this long, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next clip. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of food for tomorrow, just little snacks and whatever I want to eat. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to eat yet, but Anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's 11.50 at night, so I'm going to settle in and go to bed.